Hi, this is Angela with Wild Violets Art, and this is the first in a series to teach you how to make a really simple card, but I can also teach you how to step it up a little bit. So we have the beginner card here. If you're feeling a little creative and you want to do a little watercolor, this would be the next step up. And then, of course, if you want to go with a little more color, this would be the third card. But today we're going to start with the, the first card, and you're going to need Free as a Bird set. You're going to need the Knight of Navy Classic Stampin' Pad. You'll need a half of a 8.5 by 11, which makes it 8.5 by 5.5. Cardstock, the Whisper White. You'll need a scrap of white, and you'll need a little 1.5 by 1.5 inch Knight of Navy Square. So to get started, you'll want to fold your card in half, your cardstock in half, and use your nail, or if you have a bone folder, you can use your bone folder and get a nice crisp line. And you're going to take your stamp pad and your stamp. So you can see that the Cling stamp is really easy to take on and off, and once it's stuck, it stays really nicely. But with the bigger um, ink or stamps, you're going to want to ink it up by holding your stamp pad and just make sure that all your lines are showing up. Looks nice and juicy. You can see the shine in the color. And you're going to just put your birds right in the middle of your card if you want to. You can practice on your paper just to kind of see what it's going to look like. And what I want is I want to look like to look like the the limb is going up. I'm going to just kind of balance it and I'm going to stamp it. Isn't that pretty? So to get the pop-up look like this, what we're going to do is we're just going to stamp the middle again. And you're going to keep it at the same level as what you were doing on your card. And I primarily want these two birds. You know, it doesn't have to be in the middle of the paper. It could be off to the side. Perfect. So you're going to take your image and you can either cut it out with your paper cutter to one and a quarter by one and a quarter, or you can use a square punch, line it up, and cut out the image that you want. So I primarily want these two little birds. And it's going to just go right over the image that I already have on there but I'm gonna layer it with this one and a half by one and a half inch piece of cardstock. So take the glue that you like to use or your adhesive adhere it to your little blue piece try to line it up in the middle it's the nice thing about this mono adhesive is you can wiggle it around a little bit. And then once you have that figured out, you can come back, add a little bit of glue. And now I'm gonna look at my image and I'm gonna try to just place it right over the top about where it's supposed to be. Making sure that it's equal on all sides and then I can come back and I can add my verse. It's really cute. We're the best of friends. I cased this off of somebody else that um, did it. It just kind of highlights you and your friends. And when you're doing verses, it's always a good idea to practice on some paper to make sure that you kind of know what direction in case your stamp is slightly skewed and you're just going to stamp it on there. Super cute. 
Be sure to sign the back of your card. And um, you can leave it blank inside or you can add a verse. Thank you so much. Super simple, easy way to start. This will be one of three. And again, I'm Angela with Wild Violets Art. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you again soon.